Okay, back at Gina's transaxle performance, uh, I had some people say, how do you set your preload? Well, this is how I do it. This is an inch-pound gauge. And if you look at it, it's turning at 25 inch pounds both ways. Damn close to it on that way. And it's right on that way. It's about 24 that way. Or 25. Close. That's close enough. So, that's how I set my inch pound up. As you see it, it's 25, 24, 24, somewhere in there on the other side, pretty close to 25. That's good enough. And my tool I made, it's like this. I made that. That's an inch pound uh, uh, torque wrench. And it fits in there. Well, they said, how do you do it for the four spider gears? I have another one that I made. It's a little bit different than this that I made for that. So that's how I set my preload. That preload set. That doesn't mean that the backlash is set. So what I'll do is take this all apart, put the pinion shaft in, and adjust my backlash. And then I have to adjust my shims. Whatever I put on one side, if I have to add more on this side, I take away on the other side, or vice versa, or add. So that's how you do your preload and, uh, and set up the, the bearing. I like 25 inch pounds. I know some people say they like to see it pop up six thousands here. I, I, I don't do that. I do it with the inch-pound gauge, uh, that's the way I was taught, that's how I do it. So that's another little tip from Gino's transaxle performance. I'm doing this box for a guy, uh, I think he's down in Virginia or Maryland, that wanted this done. So there you are, be back for more.